hello everyone welcome to another video on my channel so there's new update for uh, different dungeons to finish Let's start by unlocking the first one directly after the update speak with the alchemist it will unlock new quest and the new quest will uh, guide you to the location of the new hollow hose the new task explores the hollow hose but try not to be misguided because because here it was showing me that it's behind me because I was zooming in, so I was like running in circles. So here's the first uh, hollow hall. So what you will be facing in the first dungeon will be a huge amount of skeletons, skeleton dogs, and summoners. I will not go melee uh, because the numbers are too much and uh, magic could be better. Also, I would kill, I will I would kill the summoners first because if you didn't kill first, they will keep spawning more skeletons. And the main loot you'll be getting from the first dungeon is three main things. The first one is the ectoplasm uh, fragments. This you will get from killing the skeletons. Also, when you start breaking stuff inside the dungeon, you will find red marble fragments. This is the red marble fragment. And by killing the summoners, you will get the skull summoning vessel. And this is very important. You will know why in the next video. And now, one of the main things that you stumble upon when entering the dungeon is the barriers. As you see, this barrier have one mark. This mark means that there is one rune world I have to find and uh, go through. Or it will be carried by a monster I have to kill. This one is here, it's very easy, but other dungeons will be more difficult, more complicated. Now the next thing is the toxic slime. This thing will consume your stamina immediately and start uh, consuming your health. Also you can mine it, you can get the toxic slime and you can craft things out of it. So now after finishing the first dungeon you will be able to summon the collector which unlock more quests and will uh, guide you to uh, the locations of the other dungeons, the next dungeons. There is three more dungeons. And you'll be able to craft the keys that will open the doors for the next dungeons. For this one, we need the Revelwood Bone Key. So now we craft it and we go to the location. I basically flew, flew to the Revelwood Ancient Spire and uh, then glided from there to the dungeon. So this is the second dungeon. As you see, you will need the key to, to get in. And I really like how this door opens. So here we are in the second dungeon. You will be facing same enemies you have faced in the first dungeon, but they are higher level. And there is one more thing. Also, the as you see, the magic stuff is working uh, way better than the soul. So magic set will be much better than melee. And the other thing you will be facing is the Cyclops and this is why we are here because we need to get its head to be able to craft the ectoplasm press so I will leave you to it uh, it's the first time I am fighting him uh, so I still don't know uh, his hits his moves also the only reason I won is because I am carrying a huge amount of healing potions
<laughs> epic ending right it's mainly because i didn't know this would toss me up in the air and i chose to ignore it because he was almost dead so now we are back so the main loot we'll get here is the cyclops head and his huge bones so this is the second dungeon main loot the cyclops head plus the, this you will find before the red marble block and before leaving the dungeon there is one final prize it's an epic well weapon but it's a low level so this was it for today the third dungeon video is coming soon thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe have a nice day and night